Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. Today we're going to look at can you work your way out of a slump on eBay. Now as you know I've been very preoccupied this last month between job interviews for TV, doing work in the shop, family and everything else I've really let my eBay go. Now I know as do many of you if you if you ignore eBay you don't do your listings and things your sales plummet. Now in a month I think I've had about seven or eight sales we're gonna take a look in just a minute it's very very poor. So what I've started this week now is I've started banging them on I've done seven ten a day something like that and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give you some examples of the listings I do daily and we're gonna look at the sales I've had up to this month and then I'm gonna show you the sales that come in from when I started listing and we're gonna see if listing daily or listing regularly now can pick you up out of a slump well that's the hope <laughs> I've always worked on the principle that if my sales are down I work my way out of it I don't just sit there and moan and say oh my god my sales are down what am I doing well what's wrong with it all I simply say right I need obviously to get some new stock on generate some interest get people looking at the rest of the site through the new items so let's take a little look at how poor my sales have been for a month and then we'll have a little look at some of the stuff I've listed over this last week. Okay guys, so let's zoom in here. Forget this one here because that was the 31st of August. So we're going to go from the 31st of August to the 3rd of September. I didn't have a sale. Then I sold a sterling silver necklace for £80. That was a nice one. Uh, 3rd of September again I had another sale I had the money bank which was £21 9th of September then so I went six days without a sale on eBay and then I sold a door knocker for £20 then I went another four days from the 9th to the 13th uh, without a sale and sold a tea caddy for 16 then on the 14th I sold a silver ring um, a money box and on the 16th I sold the brass paper clip and that is it up until I started doing my listings now this week that is very very poor for me for a two to three week period normally I do a thousand pound a week uh, of turnover so that's very low okay not all of these now that you're going to see are newly listed because i got automatic relist so i'm going to point out the new ones i've done this week for you all right but i got an automatic relist going on so bear with me right so we got i put a nine carat roll gold bangle on i put them um, a bar mounted corkscrew on i've put on a victorian rummer a lot of drinking, uh, drinking glasses, a lot of glass vases, and I've put a lot of these on. Ramaki and Lassie, a pair of Edinburgh Crystal Champagne Flutes, then these are old listings. Let's come through between more listings, bear with me. Right, okay. I put the Ruby Flash Glass on, I've put a pair of oak candlesticks on a brass mortar um, then they're old this coracle solid brass coracle I've put on which is an early Welsh boat I've put this Ainsley tea service on the Medina paperweight well it's not Medina it was Maltese uh, the cranberry glass the Persian um, teapot a bit of La Cruze stoneware think that not and I put on the brass watering can the pool pot replate the these are cigarette cards if you like but they're glass mounted front and backs so you can read the backs as well but they're of Land Rovers they were really nice and then I put on some watercolors so this is where I started the week these were the watercolors I put on All right so that's what I've already listed this week now if I show you while we're still here, it's no point moving. I started that um, two days ago on the 23rd. And go figure, 
On the 23rd, I instantly started having sales. I listed the glass and all that, sold one instantly. Thir uh, 24 pounds. I sold a solid silver bangle, 28 pounds. That was an old listing. I've sold um, a hand painted Cornish plate or slate rather. Beautiful um, piece of art. It's been on my eBay for three months, 40 pounds. Bit of the Le Creuset, pumpkin stoneware dish, brand new listing, gone. So already there's one, there's two of the new ones and two of the old ones already sold in the space of a couple of days. It's the 25th so far and I've already had four decent sales in two days listings after how bad it was. But I'm going to keep it going. I haven't been able to do any listings today because by the time I've done parceling and I made the video this morning to go out and sorting out customers in the shop, I've had a really busy day in the shop. So I haven't really done any listings today. So my eBay today has been really quiet. I did have um, a couple of sales from the YouTube videos, but I'm not including those in. This is a look at eBay. Can you turn eBay round by just list, list, list? Um, so I'm going to list tomorrow. I'm going to show you what I list and if I've added any more sales I will give you an update on the sales and I'm going to do this um, it's Wednesday today so I'm going to do it Thursday and I'm going to do it Friday and then I'll probably publish this video on Monday um, which will show you then the foot well, pretty much a week's worth of listings and to see how the sales have improved if they've improved so stay tuned and I'll see you next tomorrow Oh, good morning guys, it's um, Thursday morning and this is what I plan on listing today. I've already made a couple of films for today. But I've got these solid silver and cut crystal pots. They're going on eBay today. I've got a selection of the uh, glass vases. As you can see, I've already done the research. Uh, basically telling me who's designed them, the pattern number and so forth. So I got a selection of those. They're all going on eBay today. So that's today's hope. Uh, so there's nine pieces there. I'll probably round it up to ten if I can get through all them today, and we'll see if that helps generate some more sales. <coughs> okay, guys, that's the end of Thursday. Now I have had one sale today. I sold a group of Worcester egg codlers on eBay for £25. So I have had another sale, although albeit only one. I've listed far more than I filmed earlier to show you. So I listed all those uh, mid-century vases. I listed the three pieces of silver. I listed the miner's lamp. It turned out it was an early Davy uh, miner's lamp. They don't pull fortunes. Around 30, 40 quid. That's fine. It's drilled. I've put it on a £12 auction. So we'll see where that one goes. Uh, put on for 10 days on £12 start price because it's been drilled and we'll see if it goes for 12 quid so be it um, I've done other things but I'm going to show you them on the computer now so other than that that's it now apart from seeing these until tomorrow and I'll see what listings I can get done tomorrow but slowly but surely I'm taking the ceramics and the run of the mill say run of the mill the standard vintage ceramics and glass now out of the shop and I hope to replace it with more interesting pieces and at the same time increase sales on the eBay. So, and that's obviously what this experiment's about. But stick around now, let's have a little look what um, I've managed to list today and then we'll, uh, we'll carry on tomorrow. Okay, so here's all the uh, glass vases I showed you earlier. Uh, you saw all those on the cupboard. So, let me zoom in. Now, they've all been listed for various prices, but majority of them between 20 and 30 pounds. Now, the silver I put up for 40, 35 and 45, as you can see there. I put a pair of Denby Langley pottery vases on for 18. A Bunnykins baby bowl for 12. A pair of West German mid-century vases for 25. And a collection of Egyptian glass perfume bottles for 25. Now bear in mind the miner's lamp isn't showing up here because it's on auction. Now if I come across just so you can have a quick look at the items I listed. There's the baby bowl. The 
West German vases. They were a nice colour, they were they look gorgeous. Collection of perfume bottles. And you can see the prices I'm asking, £25, so very reasonable. Nine perfume bottles for 25 quid. Three nines are 27, so less than £3 a piece. And finally, the pair of Denby Langley vases. So, that's it for today, guys. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Good afternoon, guys. Well, it's Friday afternoon. I lost the morning altogether. I had to take uh, my stepdaughter up to... Uh, hospital to have her teeth looked at so I've lost half a day's work already today now I've selected a few pieces for listing today this majority of it is metal way um, give you a little look at what's going online on eBay today we have a beautiful pair of Victorian bell metal or nah, the brass but they're more bell metal candlesticks than uh, brass they're going to be going on for 35 to take an offer of 28 30 quid I have a really nice pewter quart tankard. It's got uh, some touch marks here for Victoria Regina and on the front the measurement there. So a nice tankard again, going to be going up for about £30. I have a really nice copper wine funnel. Now why I say wine funnel as opposed to like uh, to be used in a garage or something is because it's been tinned inside this tin so it's been designed to use in the food industry so maybe wine or cooking or something along M lines it's definitely to be used for any something for consumption otherwise it wouldn't be tinned so we have a really nice Victorian funnel there in copper and again that's going to be about 20 to 25 pounds I have a bronze statue general transport worker GTW. Uh, so a nice little bronze figure there that's going on for about 35. Then I have a few bits of ceramics. Uh, these have been in the shop for a while, so it's time to move them onto eBay, get them sold, and put something new in. Now, this doesn't look a huge amount, but it's Art Deco, pure Art Deco, and it's by Claris Cliff. Registration number on a date in it as well. So it's late 30s, early 40s, 840, I haven't got the book out, but it's around 1940s, somewhere on by there. So you've got a really nice piece of Claris Cliff, £18, maybe 20 Uh Bear in mind, I'm putting all these on buy it nows with offers. So if somebody makes me an offer and I'm happy, it's gone. One of my new acquisitions into the shop, this beautiful Canton pattern meat plate. It's English, it's uh, 19th century, and that's going to be going on for about £45. Um, it's got the mark here. I haven't, still haven't looked it up. Uh, it's been in the back room since I bought it. Uh, I've got my marks book here, so I will look it up and date it. And uh, It's going to be about 1860, somewhere over there. But all, all the info will be put in the list in for that. And my final one today then will be this beautiful... Well... It's a peach or pink glazed Dartmouth swan vase or planter. It's really nice. Um, it looked nice in the garden actually. But that's going to go up for about £18. So that's today's listings. Um, I didn't have any more sales overnight last night. So fingers crossed I get some now over the weekend and when I do these listings. I will give you an update on Monday to let you know how the sales went over the weekend and I'll give you a seven day view of did the sales improve for me while doing the listings. Now bearing in mind, a lot of the things I'm listing is stuff I've had in the shop now for a little while. So it's not the stuff that's fast selling but the, this experiment is designed to see if by putting items on eBay it generates the views on the others. Now the one thing that has come from it is I've had quite a lot of offers. A lot of people have sent in offers, but they haven't been good enough for me. Uh, the offers have been very low. Um, and I did have one nice uh, sale of um, one of my subscribers. So I'm, thank you very much. Has purchased this beautiful engraved shell. So that's on his way to you now this morning. So thank you for that. Um, and that, that's it for the update, guys. 
If I get any more done by this evening or by the end of the day, I'll add them in. But other than that now, I'll give you an update on Monday. We'll look at what's sold and we'll analyse it, see if it made any difference. And that'll be the end of the video. So, fingers crossed for some sales. See you soon. Well, good morning, guys. It's uh, Monday morning now, so it's been seven days since we started this um, bit of an experiment. Can you list your way out of a slump on eBay? Now, I've had some sales this week. Um, they they can't amount to, give or take a few quid, about £200. So, when you consider what I've done for the month, where I've put no work on eBay and just been absent off eBay, that's not a bad little comeback. It's still a long way from where I normally am. Um, but... I'm going to keep going, keep listing. I'll probably make another video this week, show you what, I've, what I'm listing, and at the end of the week then show you my sales. Before I finish, I've actually got all the sales up this week uh, on the page, so if anybody wants to actually see the actual sold list now and the prices achieved for this week's listings, you can. Now what I will say is, I've sold a few pieces that I've listed this week, so they've come gone on and gone straight away and some of them have been sat here for quite a while i've had a lot of offers in this week so what the one thing it has done is generated a massive interest where people have come in with offers albeit too low for what i wanted but at the same time they've still come in with offers and i have sold a few older pieces that have been on the shop on ebay for quite a while now you could always argue well maybe they would have gone anyway but if you look at the last 30 days where I've been preoccupied and not worked eBay at all, my sales plummeted. So you get out of it what you put in, you really do. Um, so if you want to take a look now at this week's soul list, I'm going to do that next. But for everyone else, honestly guys, thank you very much for watching. And I will make another one of these now this week, uh, just showing you what I'm listing and show you what my sales are at seven days time. So guys, thank you very much. Stay tuned if you want to see the, uh, the souls. Okay, so that's the uh, first one. And obviously, as you can see, I've listed a lot of this mid-century glass. This was the first one to go of them. Uh, that's a new listing. So there's one. And that's sold for £24, asking 30 So basically, they wanted free postage. This one was a very old listing. Um, been on there quite a while and I was asking 35 and I actually got 28 for the bangle again another old listing I've had this one for about four months um, I was asking 45 they paid me 40 plus 13 well 14 pound postage but it was worth every penny of that it was gorgeous Cornish artist everything another brand new listing Le Creuset stoneware dish now, when I bought these, I did hope to get about 15 to 20 quid each, but 12 quid, I've listed them, uh, no reserves, uh, no offers, just 12 pounds, that's it. They sold for 12 pounds. Next one is a group of Worcester egg coddlers. Now, I was asking 35, I sold them for 25. They actually went for 25 pound, guys. But I refused to sell worldwide on a lot of stuff. The market for these egg coddlers is a worldwide market. Most of them go to Russia and they pull a lot more money. So I'm losing money by selling these in the UK. But that's through my own choice and I know what I'm doing. Caithness Paperweight. I sold this for £16. So again, they wanted pretty much free postage. Um, sorry, that was an old listing too. So were the egg coddlers. This uh, is another new listing. Uh, I was asking 28. I actually achieved 25. So they knocked three pound off it. That's neither here nor there. And my final lot was another brand new listing, guys. As you know, I bought a massive, massive collection of these about a year ago. I've been selling them pretty much a fiver each. And I've sold them all by these and I just had enough. So I thought I'd put these on and they sold pretty much the same day. Uh, and they sold for the full asking price of 25 pound. Didn't get knocked down. So all in all, guys, really, really pleased. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon.